Here is a piece from my quiet time today and I would like to share it with you from the book of Deuteronomy 30 verse 14 and uh, the quote I'm going to say right now there are some two important words in that uh, verse which are very and mayest and I would like us to pay attention to those two words as I go on with it. Uh, it says that uh, the word of God is very nigh unto thee in thy mouth, in thine heart, that thou mayest do it. You know, uh, the scripture I just quoted suggests that God's word is not hidden, it's available everywhere in our heart, in our mouth, in our conscience. God continued by his spirit to speak to us. The word of God is even in our surroundings. Uh, preachers in the mouths of preachers to us on television on radio in the bible and even in the skies when you look up the skies the skies speak of the awesomeness of god the nature around us speak of the awesomeness of god god's word is not hidden it's all over the bible says that it shall come to pass that the word of god shall cover the earth as the waters cover the sea you know so it's available unto us but the latter part of the verse i quoted suggests something beautiful it says that that thou mayest do it talking about the word of god said that thou mayest do it so obeying the word of god listening to it or doing or following it or making it part of your life is a it's a choice it's optional but whether we choose it or do not choose to obey it, it's got consequences. The Bible says to obey is better than to sacrifice and to hearken than the fat of rams. The only thing that attracts God's blessings into our lives is when we make the word of God Lord in our lives. We make it rule supreme in our lives. Then automatically it attracts God's blessings unto us. I said if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the lord thy god and to and to uh, do that which is pleasant in his sight he shall bring none of these diseases upon you as he said that i'll bring none of these diseases upon you which i have brought upon the egyptians for i am the god that healed thee uh jesus said anyone that hears my words and obey them i will liken unto a man that built his house upon a rock the winds came, the storms came, but the house stood firm because it was founded upon a rock.